my mom told me that when I was about four or five years old, I actually told her I can't be a doctor. And she said, why? I said, because I was black. African Americans are about 13% of the population, but we may be 5% at most of physicians in the country. The data is very compelling that when the provider and the patient have a cultural connection, the outcomes are better. In part, the reason why I chose Meharry, it's, it's not just to be that example that other kids get to look up to, but it's actually saving lives. Our goal is to increase the number of black doctors in the United States. Nashville's Meharry Medical College has been a trailblazer in doing that. Our investment in America's four historically black medical schools will provide approximately 800 med students with much needed debt relief. And it will give them the greater choice and freedom as they decide what and where to practice. Together, we hope to pave the way for more black doctors in medically underserved communities. Each and every medical student currently enrolled will be eligible for a scholarship of up to $100,000. lost it. We were just overwhelmed with emotions. It helps to remind me that I am valuable, not only to the people that I know, but to society in general, and that I, I, do, I do have a place here. I'm, I'm important. A hundred million dollars to these four schools transforms what we do. I mean, that's generational change right there. The average wealth of a black family is a fraction of that of an average white family. So African-American students in particular tend to graduate medical school with a much higher debt burden than uh, white students do. And it has a number of impacts, including the choice of specialty that they take on. And here at Meharry, most of our students want to do primary care, and having a reduced debt burden gives them agency to make that choice. So I want to be a pediatrician, and now I'll get to graduate with a whole lot less debt and be in the position where I can impact the lives of young children one day. I hope that I can be the role model for some young girl, you know, that looks like me, that's black, brown, has curly hair, kinky hair, and she knows that she can do it. I hope others will follow Mr. Bloomberg's example and will help us achieve our goals. We've got to make sure that we keep training and producing minority health care providers because the country needs them. It's, it's just that simple. <laughs>